Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. Now I'm sure you already know that you can connect your Bluetooth headphones to your Fire Stick and how to do it. You can even connect more than one pair of Bluetooth headphones to your Fire Stick. However, you can only stream audio to one set of headphones at a time and for some this can be frustrating. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect two pairs of Bluetooth headphones to one Fire Stick and stream audio to both of them at the same time. So when you're ready, let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. The Fire Stick and Fire Cube are the go-to devices in my house. However, they do have limitations. Two such of these limitations being one, you can't plug wired headphones in. And two, you can only stream audio to one pair of Bluetooth headphones at a time. If you do want to get around the limitation of only streaming audio to one pair of headphones at a time, this can be done by purchasing a Bluetooth transmitter. This can be plugged into nearly any TV and then allows you to connect two Bluetooth headphones for simultaneous audio to each from whatever device is connected to your TV. In this demonstration I'll be using a Fire Stick but this works with any other Fire TV device or any other streaming devices such as a Chromecast with Google TV, Nvidia Shield and any other Android box or anything else you have hooked up to your TV such as games consoles. Let's check out how to do it. Firstly, as I've already mentioned, you'll need a Bluetooth transmitter that is capable of audio output to two Bluetooth headphones simultaneously. I've tested quite a few of these Bluetooth transmitters over the last few months and found that many either didn't work at all or were difficult to use. The transmitter I'm using in this video is my recommendation as I found that this one worked the best and is the Avantry Audicast Plus. It's easy to set up and comes with all of the cables included. Many cheaper transmitters do not come with the necessary cables and you'll find that you'll have to buy them separately. The Aventry Audicast Plus has a detailed step-by-step -step instruction manual whereas cheaper ones do not and expect you to play a guessing game on how to get them working. You do not have to buy the transmitter I'm demonstrating in this video as there are others out there that are cheaper. But if you choose not to go with it and you get a different transmitter, please make sure that you read the specifications carefully to make sure it can transmit audio to two headphones at once, as many on the market cannot. You can find a link to the Aventry Audicast Plus in the pinned comment down below. If you do purchase a different Bluetooth transmitter, the steps in this video should still be very similar, however if you get stuck or need further assistance, you will need to refer to the manufacturer's manual that came with the transmitter you purchased. Secondly, you'll need two pairs of Bluetooth headphones. And the last thing you'll need to make sure is the TV you have your Fire Stick or other device plugged into has one of these outputs. This allows audio to be output from your TV to the Bluetooth transmitter. To make it easier, I've labelled each one on screen so you know which one is which. Most TVs will have at least one of these outputs, but before you purchase a Bluetooth transmitter, make sure you check the outputs on your TV first. Once you've got the required equipment, let's get it connected. Now depending on which audio output your TV has, connect the correct cable to it. For my TV, it's the optical cable. Just plug one end of the cable into the Bluetooth transmitter. And next, 
connect the other end of the cable to the audio out port on your TV. The Bluetooth transmitter requires power and a USB power cable is supplied in the box. Plug the power cable into the transmitter. As my TV has a 5 volt USB port, I can connect the power cable to my TV. However, if you don't have a USB port on your TV, you'll need to connect to an external power source. You'll need to tell your TV where to send audio to, and this can be done within your TV settings. For this, you may need to refer to your TV manufacturer's manual, however it should be pretty similar to the following. Open the TV settings and select sound or audio output. If you're using the optical cable, select optical output as your sound device. If you're using the RCA cable, select external speakers as your sound device. Or if you're using the AUX cable, select headset or headphones as your sound device. Slide the switch on the back of the transmitter box to the on position. The Bluetooth symbol next to the headphones one button should automatically start to alternately flash between red and blue. This indicates that the transmitter is in pairing mode and is ready to pair the first set of headphones. Put the headphones into pairing mode and then place them close to the transmitter. After a short while, the Bluetooth symbol next to the headphones one button will then turn a solid blue. This means that the first set of headphones are connected. To pair the second set of headphones, push and hold the headphones 2 button for one second and the Bluetooth symbol next to it will start to alternately flash between red and blue. This indicates that it's now in pairing mode for the second set of headphones. Put the second set of Bluetooth headphones into pairing mode and after a short while, the Bluetooth symbol next to the headphone 2 button will turn a solid blue. Both headphones are now connected and you're now able to hear the audio from your Fire Stick on two Bluetooth headphones at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.